Hello, I'm Dr. Dan Heber from the Duxbury Animal Hospital, and today we're talking about allergic skin disease in dogs. Uh, this time of year when the weather's warmer is when a lot of these dogs start coming in for skin problems, and most owners think that it's actually due to the warm weather activity, so swimming in the bay, playing around with other dogs in the dirt, and that kind of thing, but the reality is it's actually allergies, and it's the same allergies that cause problems in people. So things like tree pollens and grass pollens and weeds are causing problems with us when they get in our eyes and mouth and nose and stuff and cause inflammation. In dogs, they have oil glands instead of sweat glands, and that pollen and mold and stuff can get into the skin, and that inflammation makes them scratch. And it's the scratching that actually causes the infection. They're not picking up bacteria or yeast infections from anywhere. They're already covered in it. Five minutes after we shower, we're covered in this same kind of bacteria. But if you scratch your arm for 15 minutes straight, you'll get a rash. And it's because you're now forcing that bacteria into the skin. So when these guys get their rashes and hot spots, it's because that they've, they've been scratching because of these allergies. And the same is true for the ear. So unlike a person, a dog's ear is very long. Their canal is about six times the length, and it's just a long tube of skin. And when they start shaking their head, they cause these little micro tears, and the bacteria and yeast that's in there will start causing problems. So it's actually a preventable problem nowadays in the old days, we had to put dogs on steroids and other expensive drugs that cause side effects, but there's a whole bunch of new medications that have come out in the last three years that are very effective. There's currently a pill right now that just blocks itch with virtually no side effects, and there's a new injection coming out in about two months that one injection will last anywhere from three weeks to four months, and the well, same thing, just block the itch so we don't have the side effects like UTIs and liver problems and that kind of thing. It's fairly inexpensive. We've already started getting people on board with calling when, that, when their dogs first start scratching depending on the season, and it's kept them out of the hospital. So dogs that we were seeing three or four times a year for horrendous ear and skin infections, theoretically we may, we may never see again. So it's going to save clients a lot of money. We're going to have much happier dogs. So if your dog happens to be one of these dogs that gets itchy at certain times a year, every year, it is probably allergies, and make sure you give your vet a call and see if one of these new treatment options might be a good thing for them. Beyond that, thank you very much. Again, I'm Dr. Dan Heber at the Duxbury Animal Hospital, and thank you for watching PCN's Pet Health Segments.